Hey guys, so if you want that flashy effect, the first thing you have to do is open up your Sony Vegas or um, Movie Studio Platinum 12. So I'm going to open mine. And I have Movie Studio Platinum 12, but it's pretty much the same thing. They're just different. Um, there's different requirements for the system. Okay, so I have mine open right here. And so first thing you have to do is import clips. So I'm going to import my clips. And... Um, sorry, I'm trying to think. Um, okay, so clip that I used. Okay, I'm just going to import a random clip. So here's the clip. And so I have it imported. I'm going to drag it to my video line. And so then what I'm going to do is. Um, see, so you can see your clip and what it does, and you can make it slower or just keep it the speed it is, and then I kind of make this a little bit bigger. Um, so, so what you have to do to get that whole video to shake is you want to go to your cropping tools, and of course, I have mine open up over here on the other screen, so I'm going to drag it over here. Whoops. Okay, so this is what my cropping tool looks like and what I'm gonna do is so you have this little shoot this thing is being a butt. one sec let me try to get this smaller so I can fit it on the screen cause it's, okay here we go so you have this you have the cropping tool and what you want to do is you want to first zoom out if you have it like this you want to grab the corner or put your uh, cursor near here and you want to but well, first you have to have this down here to the animation line, you're going to click after this. So you're going to click here, and then you're going to drag the cursor this way, and then click again, and then drag it this way. And then what you can do if you want is just you can copy, and then you can just keep pasting them and, it, and the whole screen will shake continuously so that's what I usually do because it's a lot easier and you don't have to redo it so you keep copying and pasting um yeah okay and now so I have this and so now it's going to shake so I'm going to close out of this one second let me copy and paste it to the end okay so I'm going to close this and so now we have the screen shake but we don't have the flashy effect so now what we have to go to is we're going to go to video effects. We're going to go down to gradient map and you add night vision to it. And then you have it's going to be black. So you're going to have black. Then you're going to have so what you probably can do black and then you're going to have you're going to delete you don't need this one, so you're just going to delete this. So you're going to have black, and you can bring that over a little. This is the background. This is how you do the background one. So, but what we want to do is the body one. So we have to flip these. So this is going to be black, and then this is going to be the color. And then you can change these so they look. Because then when the the um, video moves it flashes whatever's behind it the color so it gives it like a body flash and a background flash so sorry I made that over there just because I'm used to that um, so what we need to do I'm gonna bring this down you're going to click on animate and you are going to click it might be different if you have an older version of Sony Vegas or Movie Studio Platinum 12 because it might already be up there you're gonna click this and then you're gonna have your cursor on zero so you want to have your cursor on zero you're gonna click on red, click again, click on purple, click again, click on blue, click turquoise, so just like this, click green, click yellow, click orange, click red. And then you highlight all or control A, then you hit then you hit copy, which is control C, click after these, click control V, control V, control V. And then, so then you have your flash. So you want to X out of that. And now, 
that's how you do it. You have your full flash, which you can make it a lot better than that, but I'm just doing the normal stuff. And then what you can do is split the track to invert it on each. So I'm going to split here, split here, split here, split here. Try to make even splits, but I'm not doing it just because it's going to take too long. Split, split, split. So I have split tracks. So every other one, I'm going to go to my inversion effects, and I'm going to click the first one, the third one, fifth one, the seventh one, the ninth one, and then I'm going to drag my 100% inversion effect to those. So it goes from, so it inverts the whole entire thing. So it's like a black and white crazy effect. So then you have the shaking of the screen and the flash. Thanks so much. Please follow me. That's how you do it. Goodbye.